Uh, I feel I'm very exciting to share the word of God with you today message. Today message is, is very important that we ought to know at the, the end of the world. Yeah. Is coming. As you know, one third of the, the, the Bible is prophecy, which are forecasts of the future of a human being. God only reveals the future man can do. That's why I'm going to the share the, the word of God, which God build us the future future times that is coming soon. We are waiting in the brilliant times we hope in the glory of Jesus Christ in the book of Revelation. Yes. I will say God only reveals the future, yeah. Nobody can do that. Man can do that. And uh, substantial the portion of those prophecies uh, describe details uh, about World War III what we have been thinking about that what will trigger it to World War III I'm here who the Aggressor. Will be. In. Last days. Last day better. Yeah. I'm a girl. What kind. Of. of weapon. To fight. In better field. The last war. What kind of the weapon? They will use. Will decisive battle will occur? Where is the better field in the last days? I'm a young one. Yeah, but you know the, I'll tell you later. Prophecy also reveal that will this war will end in Book of Revelation. That I want to share this last event that is about to happen and according to the book of Revelation uh, let me tell you firstly as you know North Korea, 
those Korea Christ is boiling. This nation makes uh, in in nuclear weapon and test bizarre many many times nuclear missile program continually is going on by this North Korea the lead of this nation Kim Jong-un crazy guy increasingly frequent belligerent and the specific threat to use those in the missile weapons bomb against the United States or the target. Today we continue to hold each other nuclear gunpoint and nuclear crisis by North Korea. We are seeing it, it, it very, very dangerous situation that is going to happen by this North Korea through the TV every day. This shows that the, 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 the time of unprecedented destruction, unprecedented destruction prophesied in Matthew 24, chapter 21, 22, report to what we call it would World War Three. I don't want to talk to the political issue and social issue concerning about this matter. I want to go back to the Bible. I, I, I would preaching in the the the, the sign of last day. Jesus Christ predicted in Mount Olive focused on verse 24, chapter 21, 22 that is going to happen so we have to focus this word that is very, very significant word at this time, I believe. I want to move the uh, last event of what's going to happen according to Bible uh, related the passage in Daniel chapter 11 provides additional details about who the aggressor in this devastating World War III is going to happen in the last days. Yeah, we can see. First, uh, the Daniel 11, chapter 40, he says, there is the king of the south, king of the south. He mentioned in 11 chapter 40 verse. Notice, please notice, 
watch this. This power block, the king of south, it is described as a pushing, pushing, pushing. And acting an aggressive and violent foreign policy they want to use. This, this block, which is, is the South, the King of South, Bible says. Notice, today, a lot of people say, and especially the expert of the you know, physics and nuclear weapon around the globe continually rebel, rebel, yeah, rebel. The Islamic Republic of Iran as the world number one state sponsor of terrorism, you know. Yeah. We believe. Iran is number one sponsoring terrorism, terrorist country. They support terrorists all the time. Sponsoring such a, a, a sadistic behavior, evil doing, killing people by terrorism. We see every day and everywhere in this world that it happening terrorist. It terrible, terrible, a horrible, terrible the, 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 even these are happening now by terrorist. most provocative or push push strategies a nation I'm talking the Iran evil country this country could adopt and helps Identify the king of South as a radical Islam. Yes. It, there is no doubt that Iran would be identified the king of South that Bible described it, 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 the, it, the power block which is going to invade in the, the king of North in the last days according to Daniel 11, chapter 40 to 45. Oh, all right, uh, I want to remind uh, uh, Daniel 11, chapter 40 now. At the time of the end, the king of the south will engage, engage him in battle, and the king of the north will storm out against him with a chariot and the calvary and the 
great the fleet of the ships. He will invade many countries and sweep through to them like a flood. I want you to read uh, the rest of the verse up to 45. All right. Verse 42 to 43 shows that at the time when the Third War, Armageddon War, Third War going to happen, this Middle Eastern power will be in some rebel of the partnership with the Egypt, the Arabia, and Ethiopia. Yeah. Listen, listen carefully. It, it's very, very important we ought to know uh, the, what country will be will be made in the Armageddon War with the, with the, the North, the King of North, the, the, the King of North in the last days, according to the Bible. I will, I will say it will also be relevant is uh, that the bulk of the radical Islamist in this event and other terrorists that Iran influenced the lie largely to the south of Israel. Daniel 11 also mentions the king of the north. as another power block in the final world war. This will be forced to unite the European power we call EU. That will be led by the Germany. And influenced uh, by Vatican. Vatican. So we have to study of uh, Revelation carefully, chapter 17. We understand in this chapter it makes uh, identify the North, the King of North, clear and provide many vital details about this powerful church-state combined Roman Catholic church and nation combined together that control all over the world even though this uh, Vatican is, is very very small area very small population the power of this uh, Vatican will 
is a, is a, is a massive and great. They control it all over the world. You know that. Pop is is like uh, God, Roman Catholic people. People obey the pop's instruction. He ruled over the law. All right. Daniel 8, chapter 9 to 24 says, End of this days, the leader of this empire will appear at the end of this age. And then he will destroy you wonderfully and that will destroy the mighty and the holy people, Christian. Daniel 11, chapter 44 mentions a third power block that will factor heavily into this global third world. It is located to the east and the north of where these other events take place. In Revelation 16:12, it is called the King of the East. Revelation 9 says, it will field an army of 200 billion soldiers, verse 16. The Bible provides other details about the largest army assembled in history, including the fact that it will be led by on main country. What country? Russia. Russia. Prophecy in Ezekiel 38 says, listen, and the word of the Lord came unto me, it's okay, saying, Son of a man, set thy face against the Gog, the land of the Magog, the chief prince of the, you know, Meshach and Tubal prophesy against you. Verse 1 to the 2. Bible scholar normally agree that God is Russia and the land of the Magog includes China. I believe. 200 million army, Revelation 69 says, the 16 says, are coming, a fleeted army in China and Russia. Mass 24 also says, describes Jerusalem being surrounded by multiple armies calling it the abomination of desolation. Jesus told. Hmm. Jesus told 
you can see when you see the standing of the abomination of desolation in temple it is the last time May 24, 50 yeah I want to read it so when you see the standing in the holy place the abomination that called the desolation speaking the, through the prophet Daniel the prophesied push by iron against the United Europe EU discussed in Daniel 1140 is listen closely connected to this time when the army surround Jerusalem so Bible prophecy is very very clear it is not Pyongyang and North Korea not Seoul South Korea or any other city that the armies of the world will encounter surrounded and the day ignite the flame of the world war three Armageddon war no it is Jerusalem Bible say clearly that last war will happen in Jerusalem I, I, I yeah I want to say as a conclusion of my sermon this time this does not mean that we should be unconcerned about the, the dangers posed by the North Korea they had, had threatened every nation this time I will say beyond the direct this threat by North Korea there is also ample evidence that North Korea is collaborating on the nuclear weapons with Iran which is, Bible say pushes the Islamic nation and will trigger World War III Many of the islands and missiles are based on North Korea designs, you know. World War III will be cut short. Yes. I want to tell you something. From the 90, 90, 1990, Dozen and maybe hundred and North Korean scientists and technicians went to the island and apparently worked in that country, nuclear and battling the facilities. Yeah. Hmm? Bible prophecy indicates that the uh, Iranian attack will trigger nuclear world war. I believe that. Hmm. You know, the warhead and the delivery system for that war are already being built. We know. As you remember, Syrian nuclear reactor, you know, by an Israel airstrike in 2007 was constructed by North Korea and heavily financed by 
아이라. 노스 코리아 미사일 리포트들이 can now hit the large portion of America if, listen carefully, if similar missiles are launched from the island, they could easily reach European and possibly even the American seaboard. All right, I don't much time. But we are not going through the distribution which are going to happen in the nuclear war. We will be there in, within Jesus Christ. Don't worry, nothing worry about. Oh, hallelujah. That Bible say, Miss 24, 21, 22. I will cut, I will interrupt, I will come and stop this nuclear weapon because my children, hallelujah, we are not going through this, the world, we are, will be not experienced this terrible, terrible and nuclear world, Amagiron war. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. I believe that this is a powerful, powerful, that message, message, keep in mind that filled with the, with the great hope in Jesus Christ. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you later.